On average, um, one person a year is killed by an elephant in this area, but last year we had two people killed by elephants. In this area of the Okavango Panhandle, we've got about um, 18,000 elephants and there's around 16,000 people. As both populations grow and then the chances of encountering each other kind of increases, the risk is getting greater. In this area, there's a plenty of elephants. When the children uh, meet with elephants, as a parents, we feel unhappy. They walk like uh, 10 kilometers from Eresa to Beza Primar School. That's walking in, in pretty much in the bush, so they, they have, they're at risk of encountering elephants and other wildlife. I am very scared when I see elephant on my way to school. Last year we had a, um, a, a young boy, like four years old, who was killed by an elephant. And I think that, that really brings it home to you, the risks that, that people um, are facing. And so we've started this initiative, the Elephant Express, to provide transport for, for those most in need. It was only when we, we connected with um, Natural Selection and Uncharted Africa that we've managed to realise this dream because they have supported the, the funding of these buses. The people most in need have been identified by the community members themselves. <laughs> and they have picked out that it's, it's children who are the most vulnerable. Will you ride the Elephant Express every day to school? I hope so, then I won't be scared. The whole process takes a while because you have to go through a lot of community consultations because you need to make sure that everybody is included in the planning so that everyone feels like they, they have had a say in how these buses operate. We see only the beautiful elephants eating grasses and trees and drinking and playing. Well, the villages have a complete different vision of what the elephants are. And hopefully with the buses in place can change mindsets as well.